this video when I see for Facebook, when I listen to this testimony of this woman, the thing shortalize me. The thing make me come they remember exactly the video. We get one video when I do for my YouTube channel many years, about three, four years ago, about three years ago, three years ago, about women when they mock their fellow women because of what they are going through due to uh, uh, pregnancy or due to childbearing. Pregnant uh, children are not things you're supposed to mock anybody with, because if you if if you are married and you started having kids, you don't know what God has done for you. But you see those you see that you feel that they are not feeling it. They are most of them are dying slowly. So not everything you used to mock people. Look at this lady's testimony. Just settle down and watch this video to the end. I don't want to talk too much on it. I just want you to take your time and watch this video and also know the reason why you should not mock people with what they are going through. You might see a lot of women that are looking for the fruit of the womb with makeup on, with different things, but you don't know what they face in door. You don't know they cry, they cry. You don't know they weep, they weep. You don't know what they went through in door. You don't know what they are going through. So please be mindful of the way you mock people. I know this is not part of this uh, video. It's also it's, it's, it's related. The woman you will hear her story now. Ten years, so there are some twelve years, even there are some their husbands has even neglected them. Their husband has totally abandoned them. So my dear, please stop adding a uh, fuel to uh, to already already burning fire. Please, let's learn to encourage one another as women. Even there are some women that are married. Praise the Lord. It's obvious I don't need to say so much. But pastor, please indulge me. The entire church knows my testimony. The worst thing that can happen to anyone is when nobody knows your problem. If you go to the hospital and they tell you you have malaria, lift up your hands and say thank you, Jesus. Because when you keep going to the hospital and they keep telling you nothing is wrong, and it's obvious that something is not coming forth. What do you treat? What do you treat? What do you take? There is nothing I did not do. Ten years. One full decade. There was nothing. Name it. I will tell you when, where, how, and who I did it with. I went to Orioke in Osho State. I prayed. I came back. Efia. I went to Sapple, they massage stomach, arrange womb. I came back, Efia. I went to Seluku, they make herb, do everything. I came back, Efia. I went to Enugu, down the hill with the purest of spring water. It was gushing out from the hill. They made herbs. I drank, Efia. I abused fertility drug. I'm living here today, is God. I abused fertility drug. There is nothing I did not drink. Let me just be passing and they say, eh, if you drink this one, it will work. I will not even ask you what you are saying. I will just go and look for it and drink. Because it has to work. I did follicular tracking. We track. We track. I will call, I will get to the, the, the lab. They will say, ah, right now the egg is releasing. I will call my husband. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, leave it. Start coming home now. He will come home and such delivery are under pressure. Sometimes you will not be able to deliver. But you don't have a choice. When you are looking for something, you go mental. It was crazy. I did IUI, a fear. I did IVF, a fear. How? How? That was where I lost my mind. I literally went mental. Pastor Danny, God bless you. God bless you. One of those days I was in my house, I was crying. And my phone rang. It was Pastor Danny. I was like, why is Pastor Danny calling me? I called her back. She was like, Linda, it's not you I wanted to call. But obviously, there's a reason why I'm calling you. He said, for whatever it is that is a burden unto you, he said, God is going to change it. But honestly, as at that stage of my life, I was a zombie. So there was nothing she was saying that I was hearing. I just said, amen, let it not look like Pastor's wife prayed. And I did not see amen. I was going mental. After my IVF failed, my husband became afraid. I was having nightmares. I was having panic attacks. I was, oh God, baby, God bless you. 
I was a thorn to my husband's flesh. I gave my husband hell and high waters. If he wakes up in the morning and he greets me good morning, he takes a pause because he doesn't know the response I will give him. He doesn't know how it will be kind to people. Be kind to people. Clothes covers a lot of things. You see me in church dancing. You don't know what is happening in the inside. I came to church that day myself, my mother, and my sister after my IVF failed. We were sitting in that position where I usually sat. And choir sang this victory song. That was the day the dam broke. I cried like I was mad. I was crying. My mother was crying. My elder sister, she's here. She was sitting beside us there. She was crying. Please, you were, if you were sitting around us that day, please look at us. We are here now. This was the reason why we were willing. I was crying like I was mad. My mother kept telling me, say, Linda, I gave birth to you. You will give birth to children. He said, you will give birth to children and you will say you don't want to give birth to children anymore. But honestly, she wasn't talking to me. Because I'd gotten to that point in my life where I'd given up, given in, given out. I was fed up. I was broken. I was shattered. I was destroyed. There was nothing left in the inside of me. And I woke up January 2022. I told my husband, I am done. Both with this marriage, both with everything, I am done. I emptied my prophetic wardrobe. I carried it up. I brought out my certificate. I said, my mama, they talk something. He said, if you know they here, you they here. If I know she became born, at least make her do something with my life. February of that year. Hallelujah challenge came. This is my shaking. My husband asked me, baby, should I subscribe for you? I said, I don't want. Leave me alone. On that night, that hallelujah challenge, that 12 midnight, my eyes popped open. I picked up my shakere and I became another man. I danced like I was stupid. There was nothing about my life that was danceable. But I was dancing like I was mad. I danced for 22 days stretch, 12 midnight to 1 a.m., sometimes 2 a.m. I was dancing. After Hallelujah Challenge, 90 hours stretch, uninterrupted of praise for that year, boy. I entered into it and I started dancing. As I was dancing, I was getting weaker. I didn't know the Lord had done it. I thought it was because I wasn't sleeping. I thought it was because I wasn't resting. I was dancing, there were bags under my eyes. I would dance, sometimes I would feel lightheaded. I didn't know the Lord had done it. After the praise, I just sat down and that voice came. Linda, are you aware that you have not seen your period this month? I said, it's a lie. I went and I checked. I did the test from lab in FM. You know when you have a problem, sometimes you don't know the entire world knows your problem. From the lab in FMC, that was where the celebration started from. Everybody, the woman that did it, she started dancing. She said, buy me more, buy me more. I, I, I said, buy you more. What is buy you more? She said, buy me more. When I collected the result, I looked at it. I gave her money. I said, don't that fire more. Drink wine. What is more? We danced. And I have come to return glory. To this God. Jehovah over you. My reproach taker. My name changer. My status changer. My shoulder part. Thou my glory and the lifter of my head. The one who has changed my name. The one who has taken shame away. The one who has taken reproach away. The one who has indeed proven to the world that I am not a witch. The one that has proven to the world that I don't eat my children. The one that he alone can give children. Money did not buy it. I spent millions of naira. It did not buy it. Nothing could buy it. Oh, my mother prayed. My mother-in-law prayed. But it wasn't coming for But when Jehovah over this, said it was time. And he did it with it. He did not ask for anything in return. I have come to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 